In this program, we're going to learn about breathing. Breathing is the active process of taking air into the body of an organism. In vertebrates, this involves taking in and expelling it from the lungs. Moving air into and out of the lungs is also called ventilation. Breathing consists of two phases, inhalation and expiration. Inhalation begins with the contraction of the external intercostal muscles. They cause the elevation of the ribs and sternum. This increases the front-to-back dimension of the thoracic cavity. This increases its volume and the volume of the lungs. This lowers air pressure in the lungs. At the same time, contraction of the diaphragm causes the diaphragm to move downward, increasing the vertical dimension of the thoracic cavity. This increases its volume and the volume of the lungs, also lowering air pressure in the lungs. As a result, air moves from an area of higher pressure, the external air, to an area of lower pressure, the lungs and alveoli, which are small sacs within the lungs. The relaxation of external intercostal muscles and the diaphragm causes the diaphragm, ribs, and sternum to return to a resting position. This restores the thoracic cavity to its pre-inspiratory volume and increases the pressure in the lungs. This causes pressure in the lungs and alveoli to become slightly positive in relation to the atmospheric pressure. As a result, air leaves the lungs. Air is exhaled. The breathing muscles are controlled automatically during normal breathing from the brainstem. Forced breathing is a voluntary action controlled from the brain's motor cortex. During forced inhalation, as when taking a deep breath, the external intercostal muscles and accessory muscles aid in further expanding the thoracic cavity. Exhalation is generally a passive process. However, forced exhalation, like blowing out a candle, is achieved by the abdominal and the internal intercostal muscles. During this process, air is forced or exhaled out 